Hi everyone, uh, this is Will, the Beer Champion, and I'm doing a series of, this would be a 6 of 24 uh, pairings that I'm doing with chocolates that come out of these Advent calendars. Good old Advent calendars celebrating the 24 days of Christmas uh, when Jesus was born in August. Ah, lovely. Yeah, take away all of the... Um, all of the power from the pagans when they used to celebrate uh, the coming season of the winter solstice uh, when the days started getting a little bit longer and a little bit less cold and uh, so Christianity could take a little bit more power for themselves. Um, so today we're pairing this uh, particular piece of chocolate with some lucerne eggnog. Lucerne owned by Safeway, which in turn is owned by Albertsons, uh, owns, uh, owns Lucerne Creamery. They just make a uh, lovely bunch of different um, cheeses and milks, and in this case, eggnog. I'm drinking it out of my um, lovely little dragon mug that I got from my friend Ian. Me and uh, him play Dungeons and Dragons together. Another no-no, by the way, when it comes to uh, Christianity. Mm. And it's mixed with a bit of um, Evan Williams bourbon. It's an interesting thing, bourbon and eggnog. Uh, it's, the history of eggnog is a little bit muddied, just a little bit. Uh, you'd usually serve it with rum because the English Empire sort of took rum from the Caribbean islands. And um, <laughs> it was an interesting thing that because... Originally, they would pay their sailors uh, a, a gallon of beer a day as part of their uh, tithing and part of their payment. And then when they uh, invaded and stole the Caribbean islands from the natives, they switched that over to a gallon of rum. But what that happened, it almost crippled the British Empire, another you know Christian-based empire, uh, because people kept falling off of the boats and drowning because of all of the uh, intoxication from drinking a gallon of rum a day as opposed to drinking a gallon of beer a day. Uh, so this drink just sort of reminds me of uh, empires stealing away native uh, properties. Mm. But darn, it is delicious. I know we've got the, uh, you know, you've got your British Empire over here. Turned American Empire, because it's, it's a bourbon, which is more frequent in the South. And your chocolate, which comes from the Christian Empire. We stole it from, I want to say, a couple different countries and communities. But hey, this whole holiday is stolen from um, what Christians call the pagans, which is just any non-Christian sect. Uh, whether they're non-denominational, um, polytheist, or otherwise, monotheist in a different non-Christian sect, or even a different aspect of Christianity. There's like 30 plus different sects of Christianity. <laughs> Not that they all have sex, but they all have sex. And those sex, I think I'm quoting Bo Burnham at this point. I don't know. But anyway, it's a, it's a lovely holiday drink. Um, made of uh, eggs, uh, milk, and sugar, whipped together. And here I am drinking it out of a badass Dungeon Dragons gob goblet. Eggnog, kind of named for uh, a nog cup, which is like a giant shoe made out of wood with a handle on it. <laughs> And, uh, gosh, I used to drink something like this called Tom and Jerry's, uh, which was invented in, by uh, Pierce Egan in the 1820s. It's like a heated version of this with rum. Uh, but, yeah, it's just a, it's a fascinating drink with fascinating history, and so is this holiday. It was an advent calendar. I'm just uh, rambling on about uh, the good and evils of empires stealing shit from people. So, uh... If you have anything that'd pair better with empires taking over people without power, or uh, bourbon, or eggnog, or chocolate, 
uh, you just go ahead and post it right in the comments there and uh, have a fun discussion about it. All right, cheers.